Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to simulate like these camera movements, like that somebody is like filming you. Right now, my camera is on a tripod, but you can also simulate that somebody is like filming you like handheld, where you have like really small, you know, motions from somebody holding the camera. So if you guys were excited for this tutorial and Vegas Pro 18 dropping as well in August, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're here for the first time watching and let's start creating these fake camera movements obviously right after the intro all right so now that we are in premiere pro i have this stock clip of a beach time lapse so what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate somebody like panning the camera from the top to bottom or left to right so let's say that you went out to the beach all by yourself and you don't have anybody to create these shots and you know film it handheld this is a really cool technique you can apply into your footage in order to make it look like somebody has you know shot it and then you for example you're walking across the beach making a little bit more cinematic so right here under our effects control tab we have of course like like the menu where we can change the position and everything like that so that's what we need we're gonna start off by putting the angle of the camera a little bit more down just like that and then we're gonna simulate that somebody is like panning the camera to the top for example while you're walking through here on the beach we're gonna also work with keyframes so this is our starting position then we're gonna go to for example five seconds into this clip then we're gonna go to the vertical settings and we're going to place that guy up just like that all right so let's play it back and let's see what we have created so far so as you can see that looks really really cool but you can also reverse this that you for example remove this keyframe right here and our starting position is going to be like at the very top because that's a little bit more obvious and then let's go in for example like five seconds into the clip and then we're going to put this camera shot down so we're going to do it just like that just to the edge of the clip and as you can see this looks kind of like an intro of like a movie where the camera is panning and then you have somebody walking right there or yourself it looks actually pretty pretty solid and you can also do that for example from left to right so let's remove this keyframe but of course we need to zoom in just a little bit because if we're going to start it from scratch and we're going to put this one to the right for example we're going to just see black on the left so that doesn't really work so we're going to make sure that we'll position this guy also to the bottom a little bit more in the frame like that and then we're going to go to the scale that's underneath it and we're going to make it a little bit bigger and we're going to just reposition this until it's ready for working with keyframes okay put a little bit more down and then also a little bit more to the left just like that all right so now we're going to create another keyframe for example let's put it to six seconds into the clip now we're going to make this clip pan to the right so that's what we're going to do drag this guy to the right just a little bit and of course like how much you're putting it to the right depends on the speed as well because if you have six seconds and you're going to pan it just a little bit that's going to be really really slow but if you're going to pan it a lot to the right and the difference is going to be like i don't know how many degrees of course that's going to make your pan a lot faster so this is what we've created so far as you can see we have a clip going to the right and people are not aware that we've zoomed in quite a bit if you start it from this point so that is how you can create these cinematic camera movements in premiere pro whether you're shooting this clip by yourself and you don't have anybody to pan this camera manually so this is how you can add in a little bit more spices to your camera and of course if you want to like simulate handheld movements you can just remove this keyframe you can just put this clip a little bit more to the bottom just like that and you can just create a keyframe just for example let's say one second into it move it a little bit more to the right right and then also a little bit more up as well go a little bit further in the timeline and then you can do for example the opposite you can go down again and then you can go for example to the 
to the right. So let's play it back. So as you can see, the clip is just really, really slow, but that's because of the keyframes and also because of the movement is not really too big. So this is how you create like these cool fake camera movements in Premiere Pro. It is that simple and there's nothing more to it. All right, guys, so that is how to do it. This is how you can create these fake camera movements in Premiere Pro. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video about how to earn more revenue on YouTube with just three simple steps. And this is actually including one tip that is gonna be available from July the 27th. Make sure to subscribe down below and also turn on notifications so you will get a pop-up as soon as the video goes live. Thanks a lot for the continued support and I'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video.